Hello my beautiful neighbors. Welcome to Ombre's Block. The other day I was on Ariane's live. I just want to break down a few things that I saw in her live. First of all, Ariane, before you go for mailing these kids and her childhood, let's talk about your son. First of all, he's three years old and need to be in somebody's daycare. But first we're gonna stop by and see about this potty training that you so called say he has. Did you potty on yourself? No. Did you potty on yourself? Mm -mm. You want to check? Do I want to check? Let me see. No, no. I got people on myself. Okay. Are you a big boy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you potty on yourself? Did I potty on myself? Uh, I didn't potty on myself. Did you potty on yourself? Okay. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't body your son? My son knows. No, my son potty trained. He only in pull ups. Like if he take a nap, I put a pull up on him. Cause sometimes kids have accidents. So until it's like a month of him consecutively, like him waking up with a dry pull up or like at nighttime it's dry all night for, I need 30 days though, not Two weeks, not one week, and then uh, then I will stop putting him in pull ups like for nap time. But he's potty trained. I've been potty trained for a very, very long time. Though he been going to the bathroom, but like in child, he still has um accidents. So I don't like to um. Thank you. Um, I don't like to be the one to keep on changing your outfit. When I when I put you something on, oh, so I'm not trying to keep changing. So. I'm just shaking my head. Now, look at this right here. Is this not a pull up right here that we see? He is not sleep. It is not nap time, nor is it night time. He is wearing the pull up, eat, sitting on the counter eating grapes. Number one, he should be sitting at the table eating grapes, not sitting on the counter. But if you're going to apply to train him, you can't give a child 30 days to decide on what they're going to do. What you have to do is be consistent about getting up, taking them to the potty at night and at nap time. At night, at nap time, you put them on the potty. And then you sitting up here going to try to have a little hissy fit. That's what's wrong with him because you don't want to change clothes. Grow up and be a parent. 30 days. I'm not giving you 30 days to do nothing. You say he's fully potty trained. If he's wearing a pull up while he's at snack time, he is not potty trained, chick. I'll give you a new one. Oh my gosh, son. What you want? What you want? Ooh, this. Then let's talk about this meltdown he is having. I promise you, if he act like that at home, if you take him out in public, he is acting the same way. I wish my kids would, because you know what? I would grab them in the back part of the upper arm that little fat, and I would pinch the hell out of them. So you see, that's why he's not in the daycare right there, because he don't have any home training. He too old to be falling out and carrying on. And you just say, oh son, what's wrong with you? He need a whooping. That's what it is, it's called he need a whooping. Out, but it's on the wrong side. Cause who's talking to do it? Watch it. Okay, I'm so happy. I know it was so backwards. Somebody already told me. Now say hi. Hi. Um, what is your name? Hi, Mr. Wada. Your name is Miles Morales. Um, but what is your real name? Okay, okay, what's your name? Miles. Okay, Miles. How old are you? Um, three. You're three? Okay. I'm, I'm Miles. I mean, excuse me. Um, go on, Miles. See, this right here is what I'm talking about. The boy said his name is Miles. Instead of you correcting him and say your name is Maverick, you're just going to go ahead and let him go with Miles. And just laugh about it. It is not funny. 
Because if he goes somewhere out in public and get lost and they ask him what his name is, and he says his name is Miles, who, how you gonna know it's him? Not unless you know that your child is lost. I mean, so that make it make sense. You correct the child. I don't care if you do want to be a cartoon character. Well, which he is one, that's Bebe's kid. I'm just saying. But you need to keep your mouth off of other people's kids. Ariane, woman to woman, you really need to grow up and face the fact the boy need to go to daycare. He do need some type of speech therapy because his speech is not good. But keep your mouth off of other people's kids and keep your mouth off of other people's issues. You are a mother that had a baby by a married man that allegedly, and in my opinion, is laying his hands on you. And you think it's all right. I don't know where your mother is, your father is, your family is, but somebody need to help you. Because at this point, Ariane, you are choosing to be a victim. You are choosing to be a victim at this point. You are not married to him. So it's easy for you to walk away. Yeah, it may be fearful. Yeah, he may be crazy. But you need to find a shelter or somewhere to get you some help. And stop standing in the situation. At this point, Martel has her so wrapped. And he, she's a puppet to him. He got his hand so far up her ass making her mouth move. And you want to get on, on this internet and talk to Nay. No, what you need to talk to is a psychiatrist and talk to God to get you some help. Get out the situation. Keep, keep, stop choosing to be beat up. You are an example to Paris. You have a daughter. If anything, know this. You have a daughter and you should be an example to her. I'm so glad that her dad's in her life and maybe her dad and her mom, stepmama could be an example to her. Because a lot of the time, girls grow up and look at their mothers and look at their relationships. And they look for love in all the wrong places. Because that's all they know. So you need to be a better example to her. Sit down and talk, talk to her. Baby, you ain't got to go this way. You ain't got to do this. But somebody really need to talk to you. But I'm tired of talking to you and being on your tail. Because I see that there's no hope for you right now. Maybe in the future. But anyway, I got to go on this situation. If you need somebody to give you a nice intro, hit up my brother, Shake Rab. He did my intro. He's the best in town. Well, in my state, at least. So anyway, let me know if you need some help with the intro. He got your back. Thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day on purpose.